So this is take three. Like I said, I like to do all in one. I just don't like editing. <laughs> I think it's more genuine being up front and not having to cut pieces out of it, um, especially when you goof up. Um, so it's day four of the great coleslaw. Oh man, I'm sick of this. I really don't like coleslaws. Um, Tracy, who works with me here at the shop, said, have you been eating peanuts? And I went, you know what, I actually have. Um, I mean, I have sunflower uh, butter um, in my smoothie, and then I've, obviously on the weekend, the wife had some peanuts, she was making something, and I went, ooh, I'm gonna have something, and they were salted peanuts. So I just couldn't help myself, I had to go and have a go at them. They're really good, and I don't usually eat a lot of peanuts. And she goes, oh, there's a relationship there between coleslaws and peanuts, and I, I didn't know this, so, good on Tracy, she knows what she's doing. There you go. That's why I have someone else around me, because I know everything. Oh, dear, dear. All right, um, Omegas. I've left this to last. Now, Omegas, um, probably not a massive essential because we can get a majority of the, of the omegas out of our foods. Um, it, it's, I was really big into the fish oils early in the piece, thinking they were great for the joint support. Um, not that I found a massive difference, but when, like, when I trial something, I'll, I'll go on it for say two weeks and then I'll get off it for maybe two weeks to, and, then, and then rate how I'm feeling. So I'll write down on my little journal over there on my computer, how do I feel? Um, you know, how my joints feel after sort of the same the same training load. So you create this baseline and you work off that baseline. So I, I you know there's there's fish oil, there's krill oil, there's hemp oil. Woo! No, not what we're thinking. There's flaxseed oil, uh, there's a there's algae oil, there's 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 so many around um, that you've got massive options, you know, so if you you might be sensitive to seeds you know, or flax or something, so you've got a lot of options there. Um, you know, animal based compared to plant based. What's better? Well, how long have you got? You know, that can go on forever. Um, so, like I said, I started with fish oil, experimented with that, and now I've moved over to flaxseed oil, and I'm just about to jump over to hemp oil just to see what the comparison is like there and see how I react. Um, so, with Amigas, you've got, with your animal based ones, you've got Amiga 3 and only Amiga 3, right? So, but the body requires a nice balance of omega-3, 6, and 9. Now the ratios, I can't remember off the top of my head, but omega-3 is obviously the highest. 6 and 9 sort of fall just a little bit below that, but there's a specific requirement of ratio there that, that we need to use. So that's why I like the plant-based um, products. Now, like I said, you can get all this out of your food, so you can go and chop down a half a kilo of um, flax seeds, if you like, or flaxseed meal. Uh, equivalent to probably around about a tablespoon of flaxseed oil. Um, so, you know, up to you whether which way you want to go on that one. Um, like I said, the the, the plant-based stuff has got the nice ratio, you know, in it. So that's going to, um, I think it's going to be more beneficial to your body. Um, you know, they talk about the breakdown being better from a plant-based to an animal-based. Um, but like I said, there's, you know, being on flax for quite some time now. It's more of a preventive maintenance for me, uh, heart health and, and, and brain health. So inside all your Amigas, you've got your EPA and DHA components, which are the ones that actually feed, uh, or part of feeds the brain for actually its uh, essential fatty acids. So uh, there's a few different things there that, that you know, athletes can benefit from. Yes, anti-inflammatory. Uh, yes, mind focus, that coming from your um, EPA, DHA as well. Uh, so yeah, so have a look at your products, um, and you can you can be your own judge on this one. You can actually go and trial fish oil, you can trial krill oil, you can trial algae oil, um, and, and the list goes on. Um, so it, it, and I, like I said, I've left this one to last because I mean it's important, but it's not. I don't think it's like a real showstopper. Um, you know, I think you get better support from your collagen for your joints. You know, if you're looking at doing that type of thing. Um, so yeah, so I'll leave it at that. I'll keep some quite short because there's. Um, that's pretty much it about Amigas. It's not a huge new subject. Uh, well, it can be, but I'm not gonna make it a huge subject. So, um, have a great day. I'll see you on the next video, and I think I'm gonna talk uh, heart rate, actually, on the next one. Um, there's a few things that have been asked lately, so I'm gonna just uh, cover a few things on heart rate. No worries, guys, we'll talk to you soon. Have a cracker day.